realize I'm the very last speaker, uh, like the official speaker. So uh, before I get started, I would like to do a little quiz to wake everybody up. Um, here's uh, two questions for you. Uh, just put your hands in front of them, the right one or the left one, and just let me know. Uh, how many scientific journals do you think there are in the world? In any language, just science. Medical science, at least 30,000. No, 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 all. All, all science? Yeah, otherwise you don't get a point. <laughs> I have to be strict. 3,000? Yeah. Anyone else? 300,000. 300,000 journals. And Ed is one of them. <laughs> Just one. Then uh, there was a, a question uh, yesterday during the education program about uh, how many bees, and that this is a bee for the PPK, I'm not a not for the bees, uh, do we need to have a, a proper EPMA article. So what I did, I went yesterday night uh, to ISI, uh, Web of Knowledge, and I looked for the number of articles that deal with preventive medicine, predictive medicine, and personalized medicine. How many articles? There are three, four million articles in ISI. And, and EPMA is not in, so they don't count. How many articles do you think? Anyone? 200,000. 200,000? Ambitious. 100? 16. <laughs> there are 16 articles in ISI that deal with PPM. Uh, so there's still a long way. Um, Okay, I hope you're slightly awake uh, when, uh, just before. I want to talk a little bit uh, about open access and tell a little bit more about the journal. I did quite a, a large review, review yesterday. I just summarized it in three slides. Um, and tell a little bit about the company. So um, I work for Springer. Springer is uh, one of the bigger publishers uh, in the field of uh, Science, Technology, and Medicine, um, and uh, owned by uh, private equity, um, and we do all kinds of things, so books, uh, journals, protocols, databases, conferences, etc. We're, I don't know why you can read it, not very well, anyway. We're leading publisher in Europe and the world. Uh, we have about uh, 2,000 journals at the moment our portfolio, uh, we have uh, 5,000 books that we produce uh, per year, um, and uh, at the moment we're the largest open access publisher uh, by the acquisition of IMS Central a few years back. 80% of our books are published in English, um, I think of the 20% that's left, uh, the large majority of my is, will, will be uh, German, and the second place is probably in Dutch. Um, I think we're one of the uh, innovative publishers uh, around the world. We were one of the first to um, set up a, an online platform where you can find articles and where you can find journal information uh, to introduce an online peer review, uh, online journal archive, uh, and open choice, uh, which has been uh, adopted by, by other publishers, uh, which you can uh, make any article open access. Uh, we introduced the uh, protocols, auto uh, real time. Uh, well, if you want to know more about all of this, uh, just let me know. And of course, we're a publisher of the Edmund Journal. Um, and underneath you can see the teams that, um, the, the biannual cycle of issue in which the Edmund Journal is published. The journal has published now uh, uh, 96 articles, which is by now maybe 100. Uh, it, these are very high quality articles uh, with high uh, educational value. Uh, 
and the journal is uh, doing uh, pretty well. What you can see here is the Dow statistics from 2010 in blue. Uh, the first issue came out in March, so that explains why you don't see something in January, February. Um, in 2010, uh, 11, sorry, uh, is based in red. You see very nicely, it's already uh, up to 800, and I'm sure it will uh, pick up uh, uh, even above this. Um, we have applied for comments. Unfortunately, we have not been accepted. It's been a long discussion yesterday, so I don't want to go into that uh, in, at this moment. Uh, but uh, we'll have some ways to we'll tell a little bit more about this uh, later on. ISI we haven't applied for yet. The web of knowledge for the internet service will probably do this in 2012. Uh, as I said, at the moment, uh, 96 articles. Uh, they have already generated 170 uh, citations, uh, which comes down to uh, just under 60 uh, sites per year. Okay, um, as I said, it, we have been rejected by uh, PubMed. However, maybe if, if you have been in PubMed, uh, you may have noticed some articles that are still on the Apple Journal and in PubMed. This is because these uh, authors choose to publish their article in open access. And I want to go a little bit uh, deeper in this uh, topic. Uh, so here you see one of these articles uh, and all the articles that are published in open access mode uh, are posted also in uh, PubMed Central. PubMed Central is the, the platform from NIH where articles that are published with any publisher uh, uh, are deposited. And so you can access all these articles for free uh, for anybody. So not only scientists, but also, uh, like here in this room, right? not only scientists, but medical people, the, uh, lawyers, uh, economists, uh, etc., politicians. So also these people, I mean, it's a huge group here. Uh, that, are, that is involved in the app um, With regard to education, uh, we have in cooperation with the uh, app uh, launched a new book series, uh, which is uh, Advances in Personalized Predictive Learning. Predictive Learning. It's quite the right order, but anyway. <laughs> uh, and uh, here are the, uh, the titles that will come out in 2012. On, on drug delivery systems, uh, there's a healthcare overview, um, there's one on neurodegenerative diseases, uh, and one on diabetes. Uh, and the list is longer, but these are still under preparation. These uh, four titles have been signed 